Welcome to Memento Argentum, where remembering the silver screen is a requirement, not a request. I will be your host, E.E. E. Lin, and allow me to tell you a quiet tale. A gentleman works for a small-time job and is offered a much better one in advertising that he must consider. While he doesn't feel qualified to do the role correctly, his wife points out that the improvement in pay would be more than a little help for their family. While he does eventually agree to apply for the job, his wife accusing him of being a different person ever since he came back from World War II makes him remember moments of his life while in Italy. It is a tale more about learning to stand up for the things you should and less about the banal life that many people had to live after such a massive event was over. The man in the gray flannel suit Oh, good lord. This is a very white cover. Um, was released in 1956 and has no rating due to its age. Uh, hang on one sec. There we go. Stars Gregory Peck, Jennifer Jones, and Frederick March. This film was a request by a subscriber. I'm getting through those very slowly. Um, also, as a quick aside, I don't remember if I mentioned it in my MASH one. I do apologize for the long, long period of time between uploads. I'm going to try my best to make that more consistent. Uh, I do not regret this request. I am very happy to have gotten to see this. It is one of those sorts of films that sneaks up on you. And, oh man, do some of the thought processes in this 60-year-old film hit hard for those millennials who have been told a few things in life that happen to be told to the main character of this movie. It's kind of astounding. It also kind of hurts, because that means that everything comes around. <laughs> oh, that's the thing about these quiet films. Quiet films like this. Quiet films like this. They sneak up on you and show you certain problems that come around again, and they hit hard, and then leave. <laughs> I mean, it's... The film is very well done. The soundtrack got... I do remember having a problem with the soundtrack. The soundtrack had moments where it was just so loud. It's like those YouTube videos where the person did not adjust audio correctly, so all you hear is the music. And you can barely hear them in the background talking about yay big. Like, it's very uneven, the audio. Um, the acting, the, the chemistry is really amazing. Gregory Peck did a great job. In fact, everyone did. The only thing that I kind of had a problem with was Jennifer Jones, who plays his wife. Um, she's very shrill. She She's playing the quintessential... I guess you could say housewife of the 50s. Like you got the, the leave it to beaver mom and then you got the exact opposite and she's playing the exact opposite where she's just fed up with her entire house. It's, she is a hair's breadth away from a mental breakdown at any given moment, it seems like. And it's a little bit hard to listen to her talk just because of how soon she goes I'm going to get, like, freaking out now. And the only reason that her scenes did not remove this movie from me being grateful is because Gregory Peck does such a great job of acting counterpoint to it. Unfortunately, I almost feel like they had to write her like that in order for him to make sense. And that kind of bothers me a little bit. Um, the directing was very fairly well for the time period. There was nothing spectacular about it. In fact, honestly, this movie felt very much like a play. I would not be at all surprised if it was based off of a play. Uh, it's based off of a novel. Well, now I'm interested in reading that novel. Didn't even know that. Um, but yeah, it's, it's very play-like. And I would say that that's a little bit of a down turn, because that means it's a little bit harder to watch because you're just like, and now it's the stage. But if you can get yourself immersed into a play, you can get yourself immersed into this. So I honestly think that it's totally worth seeing. I am very grateful to the subscriber that requested it. 
I am super happy that I got to see this because it was a really good movie. There were just some problematic elements. He also, the play issue and the wife really was annoying. Um, maybe it's because it just, it reminded me of a few things I had come across in other films that really bugged me. And I guess it just hit all those notes. Uh, as always, don't be afraid to request things. I am making my way through the pile. I have a few more requests to fill, and then I will be free and clear. Um, but yeah, don't be afraid to make a request. I will do my best to fulfill it. Until next time, join me for Born Yesterday. Good old Judy Holiday. Uh, until then, adieu.